What's up YouTube? Just gonna make a little updated video here of uh, some of my Porsche race cars that I have because um, there's a couple new ones added to the collection since I made that last video. Uh, this is by Auto Art. This is the Porsche 550. This was the first uh, race of the Porsche 550 and it actually came in third overall and first in its class um, in the uh, Pan Americana which was incredible um, victory for, for Porsche um, being such a small displacement and finishing third overall behind some Ferraris was pretty pretty amazing then we go to the 906 this was the first um, the, sort of the template of all future Porsche race cars um, this was the first uh, race car that was actually fitted with the 911 uh, engine in it they tried to do that with the 904, but with the production of the uh, the 911, it kind of uh, it kind of screwed things up a little bit. So that 904 originally was with this same uh, that uh, four cam uh, race motor from the 550 was originally put in those 904s. But this was the first race car that actually had the uh, the V6, um, or sorry, not the V6, the flat six from the uh, the Porsche 911. Um, so that was an incredible uh, lightweight amazing uh, race car uh, then you go to the uh, the 908 this is the, uh, the 03 version um, this thing was great with uh, the races with the Nürburgring and the Targa Floria and um, had huge success with the 908 uh, spider like this um, this is the first overall Le Mans winning victory for Porsche um, yeah, in 1970, uh, this came in first uh, overall. This was not a factory uh, factory car. Um, the factory cars did not uh, did not win or finish the race, but uh, the sucker came in first and was the first overall victory for Porsche at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. So it's an incredibly um, important car to their heritage. This is the famous Martini 21 car setting. The top speed record at Le Mans down the Mosan Strait at 386 kilometers an hour. Um, incredible thinking back uh, that was back in 1970 that they were able to uh, travel at speeds like that it was uh, amazing. This is from the 1973 uh, Can Am series. This is the Porsche 91730 driven by Mark Donahue. Um, this thing cleaned up uh, that series and wasn't invited back the following year because the competition didn't uh, didn't stand a chance. So, pretty amazing car, man. Love these things. Um, these are a couple of the RSRs. This was the RSR from 1974. Finished second overall at the 24 Hours of uh, of Le Mans, which was crazy. Right behind a Matra, which was one of the prototype cars. This was just, uh, you know. Um, 911 turbo um and to finish second they actually would have finished first but they lost their their top gear and they started to fall behind because their uh technicians were actually helping out uh matra uh because they were the uh the powertrain uh, supplier porsche was the powertrain supplier for them so they were busy helping matra and uh they weren't even available to help their own car so that's uh, how this thing ended up in second place probably potentially could have won the race which was awesome and here's another RSR from probably about 75 76 in the Jagermeister livery very very cool then after that came these dominating machines which were the 935 and the 936 this thing came I think fifth overall in 76 and first in uh, group 5 uh, so amazing i mean the 935 is definitely uh to this day one of my favorite cars uh ever and then you have the 936 here yeah this uh, is not the one that won that was again in the martini livery this is in the warsteiner um livery but very very cool uh car both of these are that era with the 935 and 936 they were really they were dominating and that pretty much continued when they went into the 956 and the 962. 
This was probably one of Porsche's most potent um, race cars of all time. This thing, every race that it was in, it basically cleaned up house until it was sort of ousted uh, by when Jaguar had that big honking V12. Um, and then this thing was no longer a top competitor at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. But what an amazing car. And then followed by the uh, GT1. Um, this thing, all carbon fiber um, construction, was again another huge leap forward uh, for Porsche. This one, not the 25 car, but number 26 won the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1998 which was again a huge victory for Porsche celebrating their 50th anniversary as a brand and then we go a little bit further on here um, then these guys kind of took took over I remember watching these guys in the America Le Mans series and these two cars were incredible to watch the RSR here in the Flying Lizards livery this thing is incredible um, so many amazing races through this uh, series and with this uh, RS Spider this thing, like in the Penske livery, I, I, I love this thing. It was, again, another dominating machine in its class. It was the uh, LMP2 class, not the, uh, the P1. But, again, super, super uh, strong, successful car for Porsche nonetheless. And then more of the most recent race cars here. We got the, um, the RSR here. Um, that sounds, I've had a chance to hear this thing in person on the track, and this thing is one of the nicest sounding things you'll ever hear in your life. This thing won the 24 Hours of Le Mans this year, um, but uh, not in this livery. For, for that race, they had uh, two special liveries, the Pink Pig, the 92 car, which is this car. Uh, it ended up winning in its class, um, but uh, in the Pink Pig livery, but it is this car, the number 92 car. Um, which was, again, huge success for Porsche on their 70th uh, anniversary as a brand. And then we all know and love the Porsche 919. This was a car that won Le Mans in 2015 and was kind of unexpected. The 19 car was the third car sort of added. They, uh, um, they had their other two uh, cars, and then this one was kind of added. This team was added right at the... At the last second and it's kind of a, a great idea that it was because it ended up being the uh, overall victor in uh, 2015 so anyways guys just wanted to show you the updated version here of all of my porsche motorsports cars it's a hell of a collection i love them all they're super super nice they bring me uh they bring me a lot of smiles when i come in my little man cave here and just to do a little, I'll do a quick recap here, of uh, which which cars are made by uh, which company here. So um, the 550 is Auto Art, the 906 is Mini Champs, the 908 is Auto Art, the 917 is Auto Art, the 917 Long Tail is Auto Art, the 917-30 is Mini Champs. This RSR uh, Turbo is made by No Rev. The other RSR in the Jagermeister is made by Mini Champs. The 935 is by No Rev. The 936 is by TSM. This uh, 962 is No Rev. The GT1 is by Miesto. This RSR, Flying Lizards, is Auto Art. The RS Spider is No Rev. And those two beauties over there are both by Spark. So if you're interested in grabbing any of these machines, at least you know who they're made by. And they all are absolutely incredible, every last one. This kind of takes you through sort of Porsche's racing history from close to the beginning. Um, to the present there obviously are some cars missing in there like the original uh, 356 uh, the number 46 car that won um, the 24 hours of Le Mans in its class but uh, that hasn't been released yet I think that's being released by TSM shortly and I'll probably end up grabbing that but 
I just have too many of these things as it is. So, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching.